we're so fortunate. And uh, either by accident or history or providence or design, I think all, all of those. Uh, the the self-definition, the self-image of an American relates to his or her constitution. No other country in the world has that. Uh, we can't be smug about this and say no other country in the world can have a constitution. But this accounts just for the fact that our constitution is the oldest constitution in the world. I've, I've had the heads of foreign governments ask me, oh, well now, I, I think I should amend the constitution to do this and that usually something that helps them over the short term. And I say, you know, a constitution by definition is something that has to last over time. Uh, Madison said a constitution must acquire the reverence of its people and it can only acquire that, that, that reverence uh, over time. And so the, the, the court wants to, is, is a way, it's one way of reminding Americans, of reminding ourselves that the Constitution must transcend the emotions and the opinions of a particular day. And so criticism doesn't bother me. I think criticism is very important. I, the Constitution doesn't belong to a bunch of judges and lawyers, it belongs to you, it's yours. Now, we have to interpret it in this formal way, but you have to live it.